If you have stairs at home, we will practice this with you before you are discharged and ensure you are safe. When negotiating stairs, always hold on to a handrail or banister if you have one. The usual sequence for negotiating them are as follows. Go to the side of the stairs where your rail or banister is. Transfer your crutch from this side into your other hand as demonstrated to make a T-shape. Place the crutch on the outside of the other crutch to make it easier to grip. Hold on to the rail or banister and only go up the stairs one step at a time. First, step up with your good leg, followed by your operated leg and finally the crutch. Repeat this all the way to the top of the stairs. Take one step away from the stairs and then transfer the crutch back into your other hand and walk away. To come down the staircase, walk to the side of the stairs where your rail or banister is. Transfer your crutch from this side into the other hand as demonstrated to make a T-shape as before. First, place the crutch down onto the stair. Being careful it isn't too close to the edge. Slide your hand on the rail level with this hand. Place your operated leg on the stair. Make sure you feel balanced and then finally place the good leg down. Repeat this all the way down the stairs. Once at the bottom, place a crutch back into each hand and walk away. A reminder of the pattern is going up, good leg operated leg, then the crutch. Going down, crutch, operated leg, and finally the good leg. To manage a step or stairs without a rail, you will keep the crutches in both hands and you will need to be more careful to ensure you feel balanced with each step before you take the next one. To do this, you walk up close to the step, step up with your good leg, Lean forward slightly, then bring up your operated leg, leaving both crutches on the floor. Get your balance, then bring the crutches up to join your feet. To descend, place both crutches down, followed by the operated leg. Once you feel balanced, step down with a good leg.